Good day to you. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I want to talk to you about Joseph's brothers. After all Joseph had been through, when his brothers came to buy food in Egypt, he did give them a hard time. Rightfully so, they had sold him into slavery and left him alone in a foreign country as a slave. His own brothers had betrayed him. He gave them a little taste of what he had experienced and scared them a few times in different ways. In Genesis chapter 42, verses 17 through 24, So he put them all together in prison three days. Then Joseph said to them the third day, Do this and live, for I fear God. If you are honest men, let one of your brothers be confined to your prison house but you go and carry grain for the famine of your houses and bring your youngest brother to me so your words will be verified and you shall not die. And they did so. Then they said to one another, We are truly guilty concerning our brother, for we saw the anguish of his soul when he pleaded with us and we would not hear. Therefore this distress has come upon us. And Reuben answered them, saying, Did I not speak to you, saying, Do not sin against the boy, and you would not listen? Therefore, behold, his blood is now required of us. But they did not know that Joseph understood them, for he spoke to them through an interpreter. And he turned himself away from them and wept. Then he returned to them again and talked with them, and he took Simeon from them and bound him before their eyes. It's funny they told him, we are honest men. They didn't realize who they were talking to. You can see in verse 21 and 22 that they knew their guilt. They admitted, for we saw the anguish of his soul when he pleaded with us, and we would not hear. Their 17-year-old younger brother pleading with them not to sell him off. He would have been terrified and begging with them. No doubt anyone with a conscience would have been haunted by this for all those years. Because now, you know, Joseph is at least 30, so it's been at least 13 years, maybe more. And they knew a slave's life was hard. They expected him to be dead. They said as much. Joseph saw that they did feel guilt, and he was moved to tears in verse 24. But he did not reveal himself to them yet. He would later. For Joseph's brothers, this is a cautionary lesson to be learned. When we wrong others, we hurt ourselves as well. And our wrong will be found out. We will need to face what we have done at some point. They were blessed that Joseph did not make them fully reap what they had sowed. He could have left them in prison for years. We need to be aware of how we treat others. We cannot let jealousy and envy burn in our hearts. These emotions can drive us to do horrible things, just as it did with these brothers. They ruined Joseph's young life. Now, yes, God turned all that into a blessing for Joseph and even for them. But their part and their intent was wrong. God made this a good thing despite their actions, not because of them. So I want to thank you for listening. I hope you have a wonderful day. May the Lord bless you and keep you safe. And remember, God loves you.